Hello, guys and gals, animal friends, and spirit pals. Welcome, or welcome back to the Spirit Whisper channel. Channel. Why channel, channel, you may ask? Because since the mid-80s, I have worked as a conscious voice channel for spirit. And this is my channel. So it's a channel channel, get it? <laughs> oh, I'm so witty. So I thought I'd come on tonight, do a couple of um, readings uh, on some questions that you guys and I have. So we're going to do that. Let me wet my whistle and get through, you know, two or three quick readings. I don't want to go too much past a half hour because I feel like you guys probably wouldn't watch it. So I'm going to try to keep it as as I can. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to all my new viewers and subscribers. Um, thank you so much. Especially those of you that you know, took that extra effort to subscribe. I know it doesn't cost anything. I know it just takes a few seconds. But in order for somebody to actually do it, that meant that they wanted to do it for me. And I do appreciate it very much. Uh, all your comments, I appreciate them. It was a lot. I'm getting through them as quickly as I can. I pretty much have gotten through the first two videos of, you know, these reads. I'm starting on the last one now, but I'll eventually get through it and try to at least let you know I read it. Uh, and then I take down if you guys have su made suggestions and things like that, okay? And that's the same if you're a, a long-time viewer, you know, same. Because I don't want to forget my long-time viewers because I love you so much. So, um, I was going to say, this is another, it's like 80 degrees tonight for some reason, 83 just before I started. What the? Um, I'm going to start reading with that weirdo Judge Eileen Cannon. Uh, so if you are new here, you might go, who the heck is this guy and why the heck is he on my YouTube TV? Um, why does he have a channel? Well, if you want to know more about my own personal story, oh, it's lovely. Uh, you can go to the playlist, and there's one little group of videos that say about me and what I do. You know, they're all about me. Enough about me, but what well, about me? And so you can look on those and, you know, get like a little more um, history on how I ever became as weird as I am. And why in the world did I think I wanted to do it on YouTube? Okay, there's that. Uh, Kidoki. Anything else I wanted to say? Well, I'm I'm shuffling, and we're gonna work with um, my guides. So sometimes my eyes go closed, and that's cause the guides are using and you know and talking. So my first connection with the inner, you know, senses and third eye and all that is I'm mostly clairaudient, so that means I hear stuff. Um, and so um, now, since then, and you know, I've been doing this for a long time, uh, the other senses are a lot stronger too, but they talk in my ear. And you know, you can find out who the guides are and all that if you want to look at it one of those early tapes. They're saying I can introduce them. So I do work with three guides regularly. Uh, Pan, who's also called the God in Nature. He has a lot of different names. Uh, Master Jesus, who I'm pretty sure you know. And an ascended Tibetan master named Dwal Kool. And I've been working with him for, you know, decades, since the 80s. Alrighty, so we're going to go to Eileen Cannon. You know, I was curious, are they going to get her off the, the case? What the heck? It's just all so obviously, like, partisan and obviously not the way you're supposed to be as a judge or as a congressman or as 
a supreme judge, you know, they're just so blatant with their hideousness. That's why it's so shocking that people fall for it. It's like watching a horrible movie with the most obvious villains in the world. You know, they're constantly telling you why they're so villainous. And then, I guess, bring dead people going, oh good, I'll vote. I'll vote for them. Okay, but let's focus on Eileen Cannon. I think she's all that in a bag of chips. Yep, 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 yep. I'm also curious, like, is she going to be kicked off or something or taken off? I don't know how that would happen. And if so, like, soon? Because, again, she doesn't really hide her intentions at all, really. So, there's that. Okay. I'm going to add a few cards from this other deck to make sure I'm seeing and hearing. I feel like she will get taken off. Um, I mean, that's what I hear in my head before I even look at the cards. I don't know how that'll work, but it feels like the summer. The summer. always hard to do timing. guys always get so many reversed cards. Right. Okay. So, let's see what they're trying to uh, tell us today. The little fun um, tarot cards. So, she thinks, you know, she's just got it going on and She's achieving just what she wanted to do. She's trying to usher in, make sure that she doesn't stop the parade. You know, she wants to keep Trump in office. And she thinks she's just doing a good job. However, the cards are saying, well, let's don't jump into a big old celebration there, missus. So this normally would be like, yippee, yahoo, we're, a, we're wieners. Uh, yep, yeah. oh, I can't see this. I forgot. I don't have my glasses on. Why am I blind? Yeah. Got to keep the, the reading glasses on. Uh, so four of wands. This also is like, it usually has a building in it, like a home, house, everything's stable, happy. Um, you're doing good there. This is more like you're being ousted from the house, from the courtroom. You think you've been all clever and shady, like she keeps trying to go around everything and she thinks she's so crafty and clever, but it's gonna backfire. People are seeing through it because, as usual, upside down. And um, then I went to a different deck. So let's look at some of these. So she gets the hangman, and that would be like, you know, stringing her up. Um, 
hanging her by her feet. <laughs> no. Uh, you know, putting a stop, pausing, um, putting her somewhere else. That's a big old pause to her uh, fine, fun behavior. Uh, they kind of send her packing and for her to take all of her baloney with her. There's all of her little wands. This is the Ten of Wands. Um, but to me, because they always put that little bit of a negative spin when they turn them upside down. It's like not that much fun involved. But this is like, bye-bye. And uh, don't forget your um, papers. Yeah. I feel like they're going to replace her. This is the four of... Um, coins, like put somebody else in the seat. She's been trying to hold on to it with all of her might, uh, but it looks like they've loosened some of the grip and rolled in a new judge, right? So there's a dip, getting a different judge. Then this last card Yeah, is the king, I mean, is the knight of coins, pentacles, coins. Um, and again, it's just coming in uh, to, you know, it goes, these two cards came together. So it's coming in to replace her, um, writing in to kind of um, set things right on a physical level. So, you know, like an actual thing that happens. Coins are physical. She seems oblivious to it a little bit to me. Um, it's like maybe she has a lot of book sense, but I don't know about common sense or social socially <laughs> uh, fun yeah Yeah, so just to add a little flavor there to the end of it, <laughs> they gave me like, well, she's about as smart as a rock. And even these cards came out upside down. So we're not, it's not like a smart, a wonderfully intelligent rock. It's kind of a dumb rock at the bottom of the, the pile. She thinks she's just a wonderful wordsmith. <laughs> And judge, and she can just, you know, twist it in a way that's just so, you know, terrific. But of course, it's upside down. So her words and her little fancy way of using them come back on her, don't really work. Um, and so then they just gave me dust. <laughs> that makes me think she'll soon be dust in the seat. You know, there won't be won't be only thing left of her in the judge's seat will be dust ashes to ashes dust to dust upside down again so that makes me feel like it's coming pretty quick the dust the dust is being planned all right there was that one okay let's move along see i tried to go faster but i'm always like about 15 minutes what the so i was watching tv and um I don't know, I saw something, somebody ask about, um, you know, if Texas would turn blue, which it might, but all of a sudden, in my head, and the guides were going, well, Texas and Florida may be more preoccupied with weather and climate change than they are about being red. And I got that about Florida and Texas. 
And I do keep, you know, Pan just keeps talking about water, water, water. Um, and then today, I saw all that flooding in Florida, which, you know, that I always get like a nod, like, yeah, that's like that, but I feel like there's more to come. So I thought that was interesting that they're just going, well, they're likely to be more concerned about um, weather, I'm going to say water, maybe wind in there as well, than about Trump or their red status. It also feels like um, this might, now maybe this is just wishful thinking on my part, so, you know, entertainment purposes only, who knows, we'll see. But it feels like uh, the governors of those states in particular I don't really rise to the occasion. Now, I'm not trying to curse anybody or predict some horrible disaster. I'm just saying what it feels like. So, I want to look at that. How does it look like things are going in Florida um, this summer, just in general, before, you know, the election, before November? So that'd be summer, fall. How how is their Trump support going? Let's say that. So you know, is it strong and healthy, or what's going on with it? And just how's the state doing? Okay, this is what I'd like to know. Okay, well. <laughs> Okay, ooh, got goosebumps. Don't don't forget to look for orbs. Love them. Love it. Just okay, I got that part. Thank you very much. I'm gonna pull a couple more just about their relationship, you know, as a state and Trump because you know the electoral votes and all that baloney. How's that looking come November with Florida? I'm kind of doing two questions, guys. Look at me, so fancy. One more card. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps all up and down. That just means the energies are all kicking. Okay. So, when I was asking about, you know, how's Florida going to be doing the summer for now and um, November, first card I get is Ace of Cups. Look at that there, rain and waters with lily pads, which even looks like, you know, swampy and, you know, Florida-y. So, it wanted to tell me there's a lot of water coming, and I feel like it's kind of acknowledging um, that that they're going to be dealing with a lot of water. And their focus tends to go to themselves. Like, um, more focused on them than, the, than um, you know, the wicked magician. They're not really looking. Um, they're just focused on how do we get through this, you know. And it seems like, because of this Ace of Wands, they're kind of feeling uh, left on their own, left to their own devices.
Also, because it's a um, wand, and you know, with me, the wands, the wand suit are always spirit body. Um, and there's usually some kind of spiritual energy behind them. So it would be a good time for them, or they may be looking at that idea of, you know, prayer, um, turning to the Creator, um, looking to their relation, you know, asking for help uh, through prayer and meditation. I feel like if you had a, if you have a strong relationship with the Creator and with your spirit, you'll do better off. But still, it's like individual. They're not really thinking about their minds not as on the election as it might otherwise be. And then just as another one about this is if they didn't give me, you know, so I got the Ace of Cups, but then they gave me the Queen of Cups, which is because it's cups again, um, you know, wanting to say, no, I mean water. <laughs> Quite a bit of water you know you have to pull your legs up to keep your feet from getting wet it might even be in your house um, so a lot of thought about water then I was a little bit more you know well how would they be thinking about Trump in particular that state you know is it going to be this wonderful um, energy for him so the women are not so that looks like two nice strong women uh, ready to take battle and to fight but naturally they're upside down so they're not having it so I don't think he's going to get a lot of female support even in Florida so that looks like one thing you know of course they gave me the emperor and I love this card because it looks, he looks like Hitler, you know, one of Trump's apparent idols. Uh, and I love, like, he has the, the bloody, like the onk, the symbol of life, and it's all covered in blood. He's got, like, that weird hand and face. Blech. So they're just showing me something. Not, when I ask, what are they thinking about him? There he is. And um, the women, the female population, are not in it and then he gets the death card so I don't know he might not get Florida's vote um, for various reasons uh, one of them being water we'll see you guys can say, boy, Mark, were you ever stupid and wrong around about that? So that was Florida. Oh, also, I got this one. Um, and we'll just go from the picture, though. But um, they're looking for help balance but it's sort of the, it's not happening this is making me think of the governor and that um, he's shady and doesn't really um, like his suggestions for help aren't very good they're not liking him either I feel like he had to stick his face into the reading because it looks like there's a, a group or larger or people are already falling out of love with them okay let's quickly look at Texas 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 and again, the same thing about how's their support and their love for Donald. How's that developing and will continue to develop up into the fall. 
how much on the on the minds of the Texans and the hearts of the Texans will he be? dealing with water too. Now some this water feels connected to you know like hurricane. Not all of it, but some of it. Or a lot of it. But as soon as I start looking into that kind of thing and I also feel like there's something about earthquake, I mean, um, volcanic activity that's bubbling and which is connected to earthquakes. So that might be both or something like that. Okay. Well, they're going to be going through it, it looks like there. And not really having like the happiest of time so a little bit focused so I see kind of what you're talking about about Texans but how about their energy towards the Oompa Loompa mm -hmm. yep 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 Okay. So, um, I get the Eight of Swords, but I am going to say it's still because the swords are in the water and the, they're like um, kind of tied up or restricted, but they won't let me let water go. So, I don't know. They're feeling a little overwhelmed or picked on maybe like picked on by the weather a little bit and feeling you know helpless about it um, so they also got the hangman which would be like you know feeling a little bit trapped or stopped or you know on your head you can't really move forward They don't feel like, for whatever reason, by the time we get to the fall, they don't feel like justice has been on their side or um, it's like not been working for them. The government, assistance or something like that. And then also I just feel like all the red shirts you know, the happy Trump family of um, voters are losing interest. It's draining right out. So, you know, you get these all these red Trump supporters um, upside down. So that looks like a lot more support, you know, leaving. So that we might, it might be noticeable when they give me that 10. And of course, they did, they did use cups again, which keeps that water involved. So then I went to a different deck to look at their feelings towards Trump. I look like, it looks to me like their vote. You know, it's like kind of inspired um, vote going to get rid of him. We got this card before. It looks so much like Trump to me from the back. It's like startling. Um, and again, cups. Can't get away from the cups. There's cups in almost everything I pick on both decks. So watery, watery, watery. Emotion, emotion, emotion. But also them um, 
kind of deliberately, this is the Knight of Pentacles, this guy. So it's taking an action on the earth. That uh, Pentacle is like their vote. Uh, going to the voting booth and casting their vote against him. See that? They would like him to get away, leave. And there's that UFO waiting for him again. Because they're sick and tired of all the lies and the lies and the lies and the deception and the deceit and the cheating and the using and the fence and the wall and the wazazit. So this is the seven of cups. More cups. And this is that delusion illusion card. So it's it's great for the Trumps and the MAGAs. Because, you know, constant lying. So voting against the lies, the delusion, they're sick to death of it. Like a lot of us, we're just over it and tired of it and just want it to be over with. It'd be great if like maybe he went into outer space or something. But voting for him to be gone. There you go. That was nice. Okay. Now that's about half hour. But I'm going to do one more. What am I going to read on? Let's... Um, Shift, switch gears. What Alaska? Are you crazy? Yeah, both the dogs are here. Oh, where's Butter? She's back there, but you can't see her. Um, I'm gonna pull a couple cards on um, Princess Catherine. Now I know that might not be everybody's thing, and again. I know nothing, but I had a few people ask me about it, and let's pull on her before we end. Now, I pulled cards on her and checked in on her a few months ago. It was before she did that video on the bench, and people were asking me if there was like marital problems and stuff like that, and um, although I couldn't say there wasn't. But the big focus back then, before, you know, at that time, nobody knew where she was or anything. But the big focus was her health. And that sort of superseded anything else that was going on. So, I feel like the health has been quite the challenge. You know, they told us it's cancer, but I feel like the... Um, remedy or treatment has been um, you know a lot so let's just see what's going on with her if you want to share anything about her or how things are going or what might be coming up up and sweat for some reason all of a sudden maybe because it's 80 degrees in the night but I don't know okay let me pick up more cards how's her recovery going it's like is she going back to the throne or to the monarchy you know in her official role as the princess Well, get the Ace of Chalices, the Ace of Cups. Um, you know, there's a lot of love focused her direction. Um, 
she seems to be a genuinely lovely person but this card's telling me the way the little guy is focused in on the cup that we're still focused on healing and getting better we're you know we're focused on the the remedy the potion the healing um, and we're still not quite done so you know she's there's the four of cups she don't feel like going out you know she she doesn't really want to um, go out in public you know as far as we know you know she might have hair loss or something because of the treatment or the chemo um, but I don't know she feels thin and just like the need to stay close a lot of times the four club club uh, cups would be like um, not refusing an offer so like she doesn't really want to get back out yet so no thank you I'm not doing interviews or things like that she's busy fighting for I'm gonna say there's ace of swords but busy fighting for her life is what I feel like is happening like fighting you know to prevent you know fighting off this ten of swords you know I think it's a real fight it's one of those where it kind of takes a miracle to get through it you know like I feel like uh, whatever it is she has has taken other people right out so um, she's fighting hard though and I think her family's all around her she does get the two of cups so I think the prince is there with her you know uh, caring for her, loving her, whatever problems they might have had, it feels like that's like on the back that's been replaced by the situation. So then in the other deck, I get the world card, but as I look at this picture, um, having to take a break from the world you know the royal world her position her job um, it would look like a vacation except she don't feel very good but really needing to separate kind of stop the spin um, take care of herself focus on herself that She's still fighting. She would like to get back to the Queen of Pentacles. You know, back at the castle, back at the mon monarchy, um, doing what she does. Right? And that's her goal. She, she would like to get back to that. And so we're um, yeah. so I don't know she's still gonna be hidden for a while I think you know just out of public view kind of goes up and down um, the love that she gets helps and I just mean like love from pe just regular people so you know it's still just talking about her health and I feel so bad so I hope she feels better 
I'm just going to do a quick pencil on it. Do we see her like, um, you know, returning to health and um, fighting this off and getting better? So the pendulum says yes. Do you see her returning to like, you know, royal duties, things like that? Yes, but it's kind of going oblongy, where that would make me think, yes, but there will be some um, adjustments changes. There's some things she don't want to do. Uh, so there's going to be some changes and modifications, I think. But it does look like she's a hard fighter. Um, and she's, um, you know, this two of cups do, not only with the friends, but also for the kids, her two kids. Uh, she's fighting for them as well, um, you know, their um, energy. So, I feel like she's going to get better. I feel like it's a hard struggle, though. Which is why we're not really, and she's being private about it, which, you know, most of us would be. Who wants you know, talk about that all the time. Or if you're looking awful, have your picture taken. Like, I'm very brave to have my picture taken now. So, I can see why you would choose not. All right, well, I hope that was interesting to you guys. It wasn't all just political, but it was a couple things I was just interested in because it's come up. Um, and I wanted to kind of look at that. So, I hope that was fun for you guys. And uh, we'll do it again. I might come on again tomorrow and try to do some more um, hit up some more of you guys questions uh, and some of the people you gave me to look into we'll try to hit up some of those okay guys I love you thank you so much uh, for watching and supporting me in the channel my doggies say hi and they love you too and I'll see you again real real soon you guys bye bye